Hey warriors, it's Victoria coming to talk to you about why brain retraining might not have worked for you. And so just a few things I want to cover. I'm studying uh, NLP, which is uh, where brain retraining comes from, basically neuro-linguistic programming. Uh, these are just some things I've been learning in my studies that I wanted to share with you. And so one is that a lot of people don't go into state easily. And uh, if you've done a brain retraining program, you know that the process that you do is typically involves stepping into a memory or um, a place you'd like to be and then really experiencing being in a relaxed state or a joyful state. Um, the thing is, a lot of people don't know, they're not able to access states easily. Some people can go easily into state and others not so much. So if you've been struggling or you did an uh, L, like a, a brain retraining program and it didn't work for you, just ask yourself, do I easily get into like, you know, a state like whether, like when I was doing the process, did I actually feel it and experience it? And if not, that's no reason to beat yourself up. It just means that you can practice that because the more you practice, I'd say in small bites, the better you're going to be at getting into state because getting into state is absolutely key to bring those physiological changes in your body because that's your you know brain once you're in that state it sends these signals and uh does all kinds of good stuff in the body for healing and so you want to just be able to practice accessing states so uh, the second thing that might be going on it's just kind of a little troubleshooting session here is trying it like oh i'm going to try brain retraining basically bra your brain retraining practice needs to be like brushing your teeth you just do it you're not looking for this great overnight success you're just doing it because you know it's good for you. So basically, you just want to get into a daily routine with it. Another thing is consistency. Consistency is very important. Making a practice of it like every day and yet adapting whatever you're doing to yourself. You know, don't overload yourself. Some programs are like, oh, the process should take 30 minutes. And if that's too much for you, back it up. Do what works for you. I know when I first started, it was with Gupta's program and I couldn't even do the processes. It made me crash. But if I had just known to adapt it to myself, take it more gently and easier, just doing it in bed, you know, you can do that. Um, you don't have to get up and do the steps, you know, especially if you're debilitated. So start slow and gently with yourself. And then the next thing would be understanding the science behind it. Because if you didn't have a program that really fills in those spaces for you, it's kind of hard to be consistent with it. So if you, if you know the science, you realize, oh, this is going to work. This will make changes in my body. I will have improvements and it helps you be more consistent with your practice. And then I just wanted to go over you with you one of these things that is just helpful to think about the five P's of brain retraining and it's patience, practice, setting that practice up daily, whether that's one time a day, three times, five times, 20 times, you pick what works for you. The next one would be precision. You want to make sure that whatever brain training, your program you've done, you do want to use all the elements because they all actually have their purpose. So it's stopping thoughts. It's, you know, accessing states. It might be doing memories or visualization. Those are all important pieces. So do be precise in what you're doing, even though you can still adapt it to yourself with the time frame and how deep you try to go. You know, don't force yourself to just try to go really deep. Just learn to practice states easily, you know, like shorter times until you can just develop that habit. And then the next thing would be persistence because you might hit roadblocks you might hit difficulties and perseverance you keep going even if you're not seeing great changes right away or even within a few months you want to commit to it for a six months to a year as long as it takes to just begin to see those changes and that's why you want to make it adaptable to yourself so you can go the distance with it 
So anyway, warriors, I hope this little conversation on troubleshooting your brain retraining is helpful. Uh, Again, I've learned a lot of this from the Optimum Health Clinic where I'm doing my NLP studies. So I just wanted to share with you some of the things I've been learning. Thanks. Take care. I wish you the very best in recovery. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. So I just had to adjust my microphone, but I wanted to show you guys because I got the shirt in Maui and I got the, isn't this so cute? It's got these little uh, tassels on them. You wouldn't see them because they're not in the video, but I just love it. It's my little hippie shirt. So I'm really a hippie at heart. So anyway, back to the brain retraining.